Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be playing something a little bit special. Today we have some sneak peek footage of a brand new survival game, Memories of Mars, and I am so pumped for this, let's just jump straight into it. So you guys are completely on this journey with me right now, this is a brand new survival game set on Mars, it is going to be crazy. I'm buzzing for this. Okay, we're in. Okay, what we got? What are we looking at? Mass ejection. This is a car timer going down. Oh my goodness, this looks stunning. Let's jump. What's a punch? Okay, what's interact? Okay. I don't know what we just got. Some ammo, maybe? I think the big thing here is to pick up everything we can. Expected error. I don't really get. What's going on right now? This is crazy. We're, it's essentially the right, guys. So, okay. So before we jump into this, we need to find everything we can that's picky upperable from around these area. I just want to say a massive thanks to 505 Games, who's, who's the developer of this game. This is a sponsored video with those guys, giving me the opportunity to jump into this and bring you guys some footage of this game before it goes live. And I will say now, before we get into it, it's important to grab everything. Recipes are unlocked in game through your character progression tree. Yeah. So this game has a progression tree, so we can skill up and stuff and enhance our player and I do not know what's going on. What is that? That is creepy. Now I do know what we need to do next. We need oh, we need to put our helmet on and get outside. So I'll give you more information about this game as we go from what I know so far but this is my first time playing. This is all experiencing it with you guys. Helmets on boys, let's go. We've got our hood going. Nice. Something is making a lot of noise. I don't know how I feel about it. Right. Let's get out of the cloning facility. Okay, um, we want to go here, I guess. East. Spawner East, why not? So yeah, guys, this game is out June 5th on Steam, but you can wishlist it right now. Oh my goodness. Let's pick up actually everything we can right now. Okay, so essentially this is a survival game. Mining nodes can be harvested by using a mining tool. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a mining tool. We can get all of these little pickups. What's in here? Not a lot, but it is safe in here. I like that. Right, we need to get ourselves some tools. Basically, you can build, you can get progression, you can sort of enhance your character. So this is going to be, this is something to explore right now. I don't really know what to get to first. You have no stamina. Oh, sugar, we got stamina. Bottom left, we got calories, pounds. We need to find some food, I guess. I'm just picking up everything I can because I guess we're going to need it. Oh, I think I see an enemy. Nah, we need to get ourselves a gun. It de I, I definitely think we need a gun or something. So this is open world and it is online and there are other players about. And what is dope, which I love, is there's freaking emotes, which is sick. Right, we need to get into this. We need to find some stuff. We need to proper push on now because it's going to go dark and I don't want to stick around when it goes dark. It looks far, but I kind of want to go to those buildings over there. You can build bases, which is dope. Um, you have no stamina, damn it. Oh, what's that down there? Ah, oh, that was a mistake. Whatever that was. Ah, oh, my helmet got a crack in it. Oh, this is... Oh, that's cool. Okay. I want to go and check that out. I don't know what that is, but let's go to it. Our stamina's going to run low. We're going to need to find some food, some water probably soon. Some O2 sugar. We're going to need to find some oxygen, guys. Okay, what have we got here? What have we got here? What have we got here? Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. Salvaging objects can be harvested by using a salvaging tool. 
You use harvesting tools to attract, extract resources. Okay, how do I get a harvesting tool? Okay. Loot. Oh, okay, so we, we, are, we are oxygened up right now. Awesome. Hey, we got a gun. This is good. Unlocking recipes for building parts and devices can be dragged onto the dedicated building action panel. Okay. Okay, I think we got everything we can out of that. But we have a gun now, which is awesome. Got some extra oxygen. Flops are used to unlock recipes and stats. Once recipes are unlocked, it will remain in the character until the end of the season. Okay, let's go check that out. So I think getting a gun was insanely important because, obviously with this being open world, there are other players, but it is PvP as well. So we're going to encounter sort of environmental enemies and compete with other players for resources and stuff. So a gun. Oh. And I think... That is an enemy. That is two or three enemies. That is four enemies. I don't... God, these are loud, man. Oh, God, there's loads of them. Oh, they're coming for me. They want They want a piece? Get out of here. Whoa. I'm taking shots. We killed one. I kind of want to inspect it. But I've only got seven bullets. Ah! My health, no. I've only got seven bullets. I wasted so many bullets. Big mistake, I think, there. Big mistake. I want to start mining so we can start building, try and get a base up. Why are there smoke over there? Nitrate. Iron. We've got loads of iron ore, I think. Getting a base up around here would be nice. I see another player. Oh, sugar. We could kill him for his loot. Oh, I don't... I don't know what I've done. Oh, Shaggy, I'm so sorry. Shaggy, you had nothing. Oh, oh, I feel so... Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I feel so bad. You shouldn't do this sort of thing, guys. But I did. Poor Shaggy. Poor Shaggy. I'm sorry, Scoob. Oh, I'm a bandit, guys. So essentially, with with the uh, memories of Mars here, essentially, while the primary focus is obviously survival, it's kind of up to you. So much like Rust, if you've been around my channel, you'll know I, I do a lot of Rust. You can team up with players or gather, or gather resources that way. Or you're a solo, solo player seeking exploration or just trying to kill everyone you come across and steal their goodies. But yeah, so we're a bit of a bandit right now. I'm not quite sure how we feel about that. I don't know what this thing is, but I am tempted to throw it down and see what it is. Aim at a nearer surface. Okay. I'm tempted to- I just wanted to see what this is. Oh, it's a mobile 3D printer! Oh, sugar! Okay. Um, so, press F. Oh, sugar. Okay, so what can we do here? Craft stuff. I am the confused. I have zero flops. Why do I have zero flops? What are flops? Flops are important, I know that, but I'm not quite sure why. So I don't think I don't think we can do anything with this, but I think this is very important to have, this mobile printer. I think this is gonna really help us out. But we are gonna need to find ourselves some more looting. Come to Papa, baby. What is insanely cool about this as well is you can actually like customize your player completely look. Which is insane. There's patterns and everything which I do freaking love. Because I think that's a big problem with a lot of games these days. There just isn't enough customizations. This is sick. Look at my guy now, dudes. Oh, I love this. Let's go for the custom retails blue. Uh, it's probably more like that one. We'll go for the custom retails colors. Oh, I love that, guys. I love that. Yeah, I really like that. That's a nice mechanic to have. Tell you what, down in here, a little base in here would be dope. That's what I really like about these sort of open worldy type games where you've just got the so much power to build really cool little bases and all these nooks and crannies and everything. I'm starting to have serious regrets about hurting that guy earlier and stealing his loot. I mean, I can't. I got loot hungry, okay? I've been on this barren wasteland of Mars too damn long. I just wanted some loot and I didn't get any from him. Nothing useful anyway. I feel bad for them. I got 99 problems and I feel bad for him, son. I'm actually gonna have to let myself die, I think. I'm out of C I'm out of O2, but I, th I think what I need to do is I need to go on this skill tree. I need to get flops 
and you use the flops. So flops are findable little things, I think, from what I've established. And you use those to upgrade yourself in your skill tree. So this game, which I really like the idea of, is having a nice little skill tree. So there's three areas, survivalist, technician, and architect. So survivalist, from what I've gathered, increases things like stamina, bleeding damage, inventory capacity, reduces bleeding damage. Oh, look, I'm dying of the O2, man. Everything like that. Survivalist looks really good, to be fair. Increased carry weight, efficiency of O2. Um, technician means you've got things like tools, weapon, armor, and then architect is gonna let us um, focus on creation of bases and stuff, which would be pretty damn cool. But I just don't have any O2 and I just can't find any. It's all over, lads. It's all over. Yeah, but if we had a base, the base is oh, is where we could respawn. But I just don't have, I just don't have the flops. I think we're gonna have to come back bigger, harder, and stronger in a minute. We're dead. Clean slate. Let's start again. That's where our resources are if we want to go grab them. But I think it would be better to spawn at this larger area. Loot. A welding tool and some flops. Okay, loot. Get them. Get them in our... Get them in our inventory. Acid, nitrate, oxygen. Love it. Damn, what is this I found? Oh my goodness. This is like a rat town in Rust. There must be some loot for us in here, boys. 100% we can find something in here we can use. Oh, look at that. Oh, open door. Yeah, go for it. A whole functional city in here that we could explore. Hopefully loot some stuff. I'll see what we can find in here. If anything's cool and uh, attractive, if I can pick anything up, I'll be back with you in a second. Again, I can sort of um, harvest anything, like these computer screens and stuff, but I need to get a... Uh... Oh, pick up... Ammo was that? Yes, it was, but we haven't got the gun anymore. We'd have to go back for it. Yeah. Anyway, um, we need we can sort of har farm everything and harvest everything, but we need to get ourselves a farming tool. Now, to get the farming tool, we need to get uh, flops and upgrade ourselves in terms of um, our skill tree. So we need to really get on the flop grind right now. Flop participating in flop events may award large amounts of flops. Be aware of other players competing in the same events. Okay, oh my goodness, what is that over there? All I want to do is explore everything and loot everything. I think we kind of got like a, a weird Wally vibe going because I think we're like clones that are on Mars right now, but I need to... I don't really know the full story, which I don't think you're supposed to know until you can survive and sort of keep going. I wish I'd spoke to the guy we killed earlier. Like, it was cool to kill him, because um, obviously survival game, got to try and get all the loot we can, but... I wish I'd spoke to him, see if he, see what he's thinking about the game, sort of got his experience of it, because that would have been cool. Okay, so the Pulse Excavator Mark 1 is 80 flops. We need that. We have 20 right now. But I don't understand, because I've got one of these uh, welding tools. I've got two, actually. I've found them, so we don't need to learn that right now, as long as we don't die. But we need to find ourselves some flops. I'm getting the hang of this a little bit more. I think what I'm gathering is the overall importance of flops. That is everything in this game. It's like if you've watched my videos and you know about Rust, what is that? Well, let's go to that. If you know about my videos and you know about Rust in general as a game concept, the survival game Rust, because obviously some of you will have seen my videos before, some of you won't. I think the flops are kind of like scrap for Rust. That's how important it is. And like Rust and like all survival games, when you first start out, on, on Rust on White Day, on this at the beginning, it is a bit of a grind. But that is because you need to sort of build up, you need to farm. It's a survival game after all, and I think that's the big thing here. This is a survival game first. It's an exploration game first, which I love. I've been looking for that for so long. Like, Rust itself is a PvP game first now. So I'm quite excited to proper get my teeth into this. Oh my goodness, that's pretty far. Oh goodness, that is very far. Oh, I really want to go to that though. Um, oh, that must be a that must be something big, right? There must be some tasty flops over there. I think if I follow this round, this is probably going to take me a full sort of memories of Mars day. But if I get around there, oh no, the the beam, the beam is off. Oh, what the, what the. No, I need eight iron and three aluminum. Or aluminium, as the case may be. Okay, so I'm starting to pick up little more aspects of the game. So as there are these long pipes that sort of run all the way through the map, and you can sort of find them everywhere. And they have these little zones on them which I can interact with to top up my oxygen. That is very helpful. I have died many times 
And knowing that is going to be so helpful. It's unbelievable. This is somebody's base. Ooh. I just think I, I think I just stole their mobile printer. I did. I now have two mobile printers. I feel I feel mean. So yeah, so I actually used my flops to learn the Pulse Excavator Mark 1, but my recording failed for that bit and I apologize. So, this cost me 80 flops, which is pretty great. So we've got that, but I can only craft it. I can only craft it with the resources that I need. So I need to go out and find some iron and some aluminum, I think. Aluminium, whichever way you say it, up to you. I'm just finally starting to get a hang of this now. Essentially what I've done is I've looted this whole town. We actually have a load of stuff now. So we've got a couple of guns, but I've got loads of bullets. We've got loads of spare oxygen, bits and pieces. We've got aluminum, aluminium. We just need to push on now. So I'm going to take this. Uh, if I get in here, activate the elevator, go down here. Check that. Oh, these bloody things again. Kind of a bit of a weenie to kill, I must say. Any of this salvageable? No, it doesn't look like it. What I'm running into right now is, because obviously there are other players on here, they're actually getting to a lot of this loot before me. Oh. Oh, so I get flops for killing these guys. Come here, flops. Eight flops that time. And if we can get the f if we can get the stuff to craft the uh, farming tools, we can get even more flops and stuff. I think. Oh, that's a big one. Get wrecked, son. 27 flops. Okay. Is that another one? We got adrenaline shot. Okay. Yeah, these things, guys, are huge. These have got all the goodies. Okay, dude. So I've just been round, and yes, I've got enough stuff to get our first craft on. That is sick. Okay. That is sick. So essentially, what there is, is if you go into these towns and things, there are like pre made printers, or you can use your portable one. So I use the pre-made one. This is a harvesting tool. So what I should be able to do now is harvest this stuff. I can. Okay, that is cool. Yeah, so I can harvest this stuff now and get so much more resources. That's awesome. Okay, so now we can start actually pushing on and like getting resources and stuff. That's good to have. I also want a quick look at the skill tree here for building. Foundation engineering square platform costs 40. Right, let's purchase that. So we now can make square platforms, which is dope. It's a weird different type of farming mechanic, because obviously we're on Mars, it's alien stuff, and it's like futuristic sort of farm, and you're not just hitting the nodes with a with a pickaxe, you know? I like that, to be honest. I like a little bit of a change. Okay, so here's the building mechanic. Yeah, okay, so you can actually build like huge castles. It needs to be built using a welding tool while having the required resources. Now I had a welding tool, and I don't anymore. That is the most annoying thing. Okay, we need a welding tool again. And now there is one in the skill tree, I remember it, and it's 80 flops. Okay, so anyway, anyway this just kind of shows what sort of thing you do. So you can actually build up and build huge structures and huge castles and things absolute metropolises. And what I'll do is I'll drop some trailers down below in the description so you guys can see actually um, sort of end game sort of things because I don't I just can't do everything in one video guys it's just not possible there's so much to do and I, I want to show it to you guys in more detail so I think we're definitely gonna have to jump back into this world of memories of Mars again because I've really enjoyed it I hope you guys have as well don't forget guys that this game is available to wishlist on Steam right now so it's available for you guys to get it a little bit of a discount ready for launch and that memories of Mars launches on June 5th 
please don't miss out on it guys it looks incredible i hope you guys are interested because i'm going to be playing a lot of this game and if you guys are interested in playing with me i think what we're going to have to do is get some things down because you can make alliances and clans and stuff in this collect resources together roam together build together i think that's something we definitely need to look into so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you did enjoy please do leave a like down below if you are interested in seeing some more videos on memories of mars and i hope you guys have liked seeing something a little bit different on the channel i will see you in the next one guys Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. I've been Tills. You've been incredible. Peace out. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling in love Still